Hi students, the next topic is ABG that is arterial blood gas analysis, right. In this ABG which measures the pH, PCO2, PO2 and bicarbonate along with the electrolytes sodium, potassium and chloride, right. Why you want to measure the ABG? It is a common investigation in emergency departments and intensive care units for monitoring patients with respiratory failure that is acute respiratory failure that is very very important. Second one is this ABG analysis only help the assessment of the patients gas exchange, ventilatory control and acid base balance ok these two are the significances and what is the use for the clinicians it helps in confirming the diagnosis. It guides the treatment plan for the clinicians. It helps in the in uh, sorry ventilator management and improvement in the acid base balance status of the patient. This is for the clinicians. Okay, what are all the parameters? pH that is 7.35 to 7.45 and bicarbonate 22 to 26 millimoles per liter. The unit is very very important because in ABG different different units are there. pH no unit, bicarbonate 22 to 26 millimoles per liter. Okay. Coming to PO2 and PCO2. Roughly PO2 means 100, PCO2 means 50. That is 35 to 45 millimeter of mercury for PCO2. 95 to 105 millimeter of mercury for PO2. Right. So, first you finish this four pH, bicarbonate, PO2 and PCO2. Next go to the electrolytes level, sodium 135 to 150 milli equivalents per liter. Okay. And coming to potassium 3.5 to 5.0 milli equivalents per liter. And lastly chloride, chloride is the rough number, uh, approximate number is 100. So, 90 to 100 or 95 to 105 milli equivalents per liter. So, this is related to electrolytes level. Okay. Suppose interpretation of an arterial gas result should not be done without considering the clinical findings. With this ABG analysis, the clinicians will go for their plan or medical management or treatment with the clinician, uh, sorry, clinical findings of the patient. Right. Thank you.